in a local lockdown region after the government reversed its guidance. And the head teacher of any secondary school now has the right to introduce mask wearing. This lunchtime, on a visit to a school, the Prime Minister said the rules were changed after the World Health Organization updated its advice. Though the government said as recently as yesterday morning that the measure was unnecessary. The Welsh government is due to address this issue later today. Sarah Campbell reports. A new school year and there's a lot for these pupils in Leicestershire to get used to. Hand sanitising and keeping a safe distance from classmates are all now part of the routine. Point out a little thing. No face masks here this morning, but should this area go back into a local lockdown, they would be compulsory in communal areas like corridors. And in any secondary school in England, it will now be up to head teachers to decide if face coverings should be worn. I welcome that news. I think it makes perfect sense. And this school itself was in lockdown just a couple of weeks ago, so that would have affected us. But I like the fact that the government decision has empowered head teachers to make the decision that's best for their particular context. These are some of the first pupils in England to go back to school after the long break and don't seem phased by the thought of having to wear a face covering in school. I would feel safer. Wearing a face mask, but sometimes it can be uh, slightly suffocating. You don't feel very, uh, it's not uh, very comfortable. It's protecting other people as well as yourself, and it makes you feel very safe in the school. It would be different, but I think it would be better for our safety. Today, the Prime Minister explained why the change in advice on face coverings was made. If you're in a school where, where there's, a, there's a hot spot, then it probably uh, does make sense in, in confined areas outside the classroom uh, to use uh, a face covering in the corridor and elsewhere. Because as they discovered in, in Scotland, where they, they, they had the kids in for, for had the pupils in for at least a couple of weeks now, what they found was that it was raining outside, uh, people were coming in and they were congregating in the, in the corridors and uh, the move to face coverings uh, they thought was sensible. From Monday, in Northern Ireland, all secondary school pupils will be required to wear face coverings in shared spaces, like corridors and libraries. It's a similar story in Scotland, with the shared spaces also including school buses. A decision on face coverings in Welsh schools is expected later today. The opposition have questioned why England hasn't gone as far as Scotland and Northern Ireland. My only grievance with this is that it doesn't go far enough. It's a partial U-turn by the government, and I wish they had gone the full U-turn and said all schools, all secondary schools, children over the age of 12 must wear face masks in communal areas. As far as week four... Safe Criticism has also been levelled at the government's U-turn from Conservative MPs. We need the firm smack of government.